friends welcome to my channel sushant chess wise today we are going to look at some end game concepts so we have got here the magic square what is the magic square basically it is the rule of square how to identify when a king can stop the opponent's pass pawn so let's look at this position white has got a pass pawn a pass pawn is a pawn where the opponent doesn't have any pawn in front of it and on its adjoining files so this pawn is a pass pawn there is no pawn in front of it and on the adjoining files so this pawn is able to pass without being obstructed by opponent's pawns so how to identify whether the king can stop the pawn see when, even if the king is away generally what will happen we'll have to calculate pawn goes to f6 then king comes to d5 pawn moves to f7 k6 and the pawn queens okay or else if it is black to play we will calculate king d5 f6 king e6 f7 king takes f7 so we have to calculate around 3 4 or many moves but by just looking at the position also we can come to know how to stop the pawn there is a very simple technique first identify the queening square of the pawn see the pawn is on the f file and it will become queen on the f8 square so this is the queening square for the pawn now from the queening square we draw a diagonal backwards and that to till the pawn's line so see this pawn is on the fifth rank first line we get here on the queening square then we come back to the pawn's line see which is on the fifth rank so we got three points of the square and we can just take a diagonal like this so what we will get we will get this square so see it's a square of 4 by 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so we have got a square here okay so the square we will first identify and then we will check whether the black king can enter the square so let's say this is black to play then what happens moment the king comes to c5 or d5 okay we see that the black king has entered the square and we ensure that the king will be able to stop the pawn <coughs> same way if it is white's move white will play f6 and now we will note that the square has become smaller see from f6 to f8 f8 to diagonal till d6 the pawn's line and then we have got a diagonal here so see the square has become smaller the king is unable to come into the square so the pawn will prevail the pawn will queen okay so this is how we come to know of course this is only related to pawn and king if other factors are there our king is blocking the opponent's king and such factors are there then it will not work it is only related to pawn and the king okay let's look at some more examples let's look at this position here and now we will try to understand whether the black king is able to stop the pawn see we are not considering this king right now okay so we are not going to consider moves like kg6 king f6 which can also help the pawn so don't consider this king for the time being so what we will see here at first what we see from here if we try to draw the queening square see 8 is the queening square and same way if we try to draw the diagonal we note that see from the queening square to the pawn's rank okay so what we see the king is right in the corner of the square and we get another diagonal here so see this is a very big square where it looks like the king is in the square of the pawn but white to play here white will win the race okay because what will happen after the first move a4 do not that pawn can move two steps and now what has happened suddenly this king is unable to cover and reach the e4 square now the new square for the pawn is a4 to a8 8 to e4 okay and see from this e8 we get this square so this is the square and the king is not able to make it <coughs> if white played a3 here then the king would have come into the square now just let's do the moves and see a4 kf3 a5 ke4 a6 kd5 every time the king is falling one step short now after a7 king c6 or d6 and the pawn becomes queen okay let's look at black to play now same position with black to play very easy black has placed kf3 now what has happened 
pawn can go at the most to a4 and once the pawn reaches a4 now see by the look only we can come to know so this is the spinning square from there we draw a diagonal till the pawn slide and see we have got this square and the black key enters the square of the pawn so a5 kd5 a6 kc6 a7 kb7 a8 then king g8 and the black king just reaches on time okay so let's look at the next position so that is slightly complicated case over here we see that the white pawn on a2 can reach the eight square but just now we noted the king on f3 can manage on time so after the move a4 ke4 a5 kd5 seeking is right into the square of the pawn okay so what white does here is he uses a tactical trick over here so white goes for the first move d5 now what is happening if the pawn is not taken then the white pawn queens in three moves king is away from the pawn's magic square one more thing to be noted whenever the king goes behind the pawn it is out of the magic square okay so the king is see behind the pawn here so it is not in the square so now pawn takes pawn and this pawn to d5 has been used like a decoy the deflection to a particular square now see now white plays a4 if ke4 now then a5 and then after ke5 we see after the move a6 king is falling one move short king is going to reach d6 then a7 kc7 then a8 queens so after a4 black had to try the move d4 okay a5 d3 now white has to be very careful if white plays a6 then after d2 the white king will not be able to reach e1 and the black pawn will queen and he will also checkmate white okay so now what white has to do white is just in the edge of the square so white plays the move ke1 okay now he stopped at d2 so king e3 a6 d2 check king d1 forced otherwise the pawn would queen ls the move f5 f5 is a better try as compared to kd3 so f5 a7 f4 and now the pawn will become queen a8 queen but black can try the move f3 but here also the result will not change white has many ways one of the simplest ways is queen a3 check force the king to f2 and just take the d2 pawn and the pawn is way behind pawn is still on the sixth rank so there is no fear of losing of course we will be looking at these positions also how to win with queen and king against king and pawn when the pawn is well advanced okay so this is about the position let's look at the next example okay. this position is black to play uh, at first look the position looks quite good for white white has got an outside passer outside pass pawn is a is a pawn which is away from the middle of the board it's on the edge of the board so uh, a pawn b pawn g pawn or h pawn they will be termed as outside passer okay and here black is not having any pass pawn but what we see black pawns are well advanced okay and right now it looks like white can just play ke2 kf3 and when black goes and captures this pawn white will get both these pawns and he will win the game but because it is black to play black used the concept based on the rule of square so black plays f3 would move here now after f3 the first tactical idea is after g into f3 black noted that right now see this is the queening square of the pawn so he draws a line here and see this diagonal till the pawn's line so we got that this is the magic square of the pawn okay and the king is already outside it so after the move h3 here king is now see out of the magic square so ke3 and h2 kf2 and h1 queens and black queens the game the <coughs> white had to play the move ke3 to which black takes the pawn now king f2 now see king has managed to control and stop the advance of the pawn so black plays h3 supporting the pawn and after the move kg1 now the king comes and grabs this pawn first and then it will help the pawn to queen so kh2 kb4 and now we note one more thing whenever there are connected 
these ponds are called connected ponds the ponds which are uh, next to each other connected passers and another thing this pond is a protected passer a pass pond protected by a pond is called a protected passer so it is even more dangerous now what happens king can never take the h3 pawn because it will go away from the square of the pawn so right now see as per the method this is the magic square okay we need square to we draw the diagonal and we get this so moment the king takes the pawn the pawn will queen so white has to keep on wasting moves here and black king will take the pawn and come here and then eventually win the game after kg1 kb3 kh2 kc3 kg1 kd3 kh2 ke3 kg1 kf3 and ke2 both win kh2 and now king comes to f2 okay after which the pawn on g1 will queen king h3 then g1 to get one more example let's look at the last position here uh, black seems to be in uh, good control of the position white king is away from his pawns and black is about to play kd5 and attack the white pawns okay white gets uh, some idea here he sees that the a and b pawns are away from the king and he tries to use the concept of outside pass pawn so he thinks of uh, doing a pawn break through let's see what is it pawn comes to c6 pawn takes the pawn now white plays the strong move b6 if he would have taken b into c6 then king simply comes to d6 take the takes the pawn and also f5 would be lost anyway white can bring his king down and the game will be drawn but after bc6 white plays b6 now if king moves to d6 then b7 and the pawn queens so ab6 forced and after ab6 black was thinking that ab6 and then kd7 or kd6 that brings the king in the square of the pawn okay from b6 this is the magic square but white played the strong move a6 and because of a6 what happens now see the square of the pawn from a8 to c6 and a6 to c8 so we get this square and the black king cannot reach the square and these pawns are way slower than white so c5 a7 c4 c8 queens and after kd7 a7 kc7 a8 will queen and black is falling one move short let's look at one more variation after the move c6 black can also play kd6 try to reach the square of the pawn but white will be a pawn so cb7 king c7 now it looks as if black is able to uh, reach the square of the pawn and it is also attacking the b7 pawn so a6 stops the pawn and now king to b8 now the position looks bit complicated because the black king can get into a stalemate position let's see how king f5 to c7 ke6 kb8 and now if white plays kd7 or kd6 it's a stalemate so white has to be little careful white plays kd5 <coughs> king c7 kc5 kb8 and now plays the move b6 again there is a small trap here a into b6 forced because king had no other place and now again if king takes b6 it's a stalemate so white plays king c6 now if pawn goes to b5 then kb6 and if the pawn moves further than a7 checkmate so it is forced to play the king to a7 okay and now after k7 just the king goes to c7 and next move will be b8 and the pawn queens so this was how it is winning in the position so i hope you understood this concept of magic square so in the upcoming lessons we will be doing this at more higher level also okay do like share and subscribe the channel thanks for your time